Love it all. Here we have an Xbox Series X that came in for an HDMI connector replacement. HDMI connector replacements are very common on the most recent consoles, Xbox Series X and PS5. We see them every day. Now, if we look at the connector from the inside, we do not see any problems. No prior repair attempt, no loose pins, no damaged pins, and no missing pads. It's very rare that I see a scene like this. Usually, it's a Hiroshima. But today, we got one that looks factory. So what is the problem? Why is there no signal on this game console? Let's take a look at the HDMI connector from the inside and look at this. We have a damaged socket. Let's go over the tools or what it takes to replace an HDMI connector on any game console. What does it take to remove this connector and replace it? A couple of things I use and I'm gonna go over this. We're gonna do it together. First thing first, we're gonna apply flux and I'm using Amtec 559. All the tools that we're gonna be using here are sold on our site. Just log in to northwishfix.com, click on shop, and you can find everything. We are a distributor for Amtec 559, for Amtec flux in general. We can sell once a range or we do wholesale. Whichever you want. If you're a business, you can opt for the wholesale price and choose a larger quantity. Or if you're a hobbyist or a person that does this once in a while, then you can buy just one syringe. Now, the next thing on the list is low melt solder. Because right now, if we apply heat onto the board to remove that connector, it's gonna take a lot of heat to desolder that connector. The board is thick. I do not know how many layers, but the board is thick. What's gonna happen is the board is gonna have to absorb all the heat until it reaches melting temperature of solder and that's when you will be able to remove that connector. So you're going to bombard the board with an extreme amount of heat to remove that connector. And some people can't even remove the connector even after they apply a lot of heat. And that's why we see consoles come in here with rip pads because people, they force pulling on the connector while applying heat two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, and they're not able to do it. So they force it and that's when they will rip pads off the board. So that's why we use low melt solder. Low melt solder melts at a very low temperature. When mixed with unleaded solder that's already on the board, let's say low melt melts at 120 degrees Celsius and unleaded melts at 240 degrees Celsius. If you mix the two, take the average, that's how much heat it will take to melt solder on the pins. And that's why we use low melt solder. Is it possible to desolder the connector without using low melt? Yes, but you're gonna have to bombard the board with a lot of heat. And by doing so, you can risk damaging the board, damaging layers of the board, moving components around because solder will liquefy on those tiny components, warping the board and creating all sorts of issues if you're not careful. So we do it the safe way. It's an expensive console. And we're going to be using low melt. And every tech out there should have low melt solder, whether you're a hobbyist, a store or whatever. Low melt solder is magic and it only takes a little bit. A little bit of low melt solder goes a long way. If you look here, low melt solder comes like this in a tube, six sticks. So I just removed one stick, looks something like this, and it will take just a little bit. I'll show you. We're going to have to apply low melt solder on the front pins and on the legs, four legs from the back but we're going to take it one step at a time. And of course, when we apply low melt solder, we have to use a big tip because big tip means more heat transfer. I mean, right now I'm giving you full details on what it takes to remove an HDMI connector and what tools are needed along with a lot of information. So pay attention. Take a little bit of low melt. You see how I took just a tiny bit and we're going to gently press. I do not want to swipe left or right, just press down. Right now I'm at 450 degrees Celsius. And not every soldering station is the same. You have the cheap soldering stations where even though it shows 450, it's not really outfitting 450 because the board is absorbing the heat and the soldering iron tip, the temperature will go down to maybe 300 
and on more expensive units or good soldering stations, the machine will compensate for the lost heat and it will push more heat so it can keep it at a steady 450 degrees. Like the station that I'm using now and the station that we sell, the T3B soldering station. You can look it up on Northridge Fix. We only sell stuff that we approve of. Some people get bothered when I mention the tools that we sell. They want to learn, they want to take, but they do not want to give. Life is all about give and take. You learn, just give something in return. It doesn't have to be money. You can give a nice comment in return, you can give a nice share, a subscribe, word of mouth, log into the shop, buy something. Do not be selfish. Right now, a lot of things are out of stock on our shop, but we have a big shipment coming in, like the grinding pan. We've been out of stock for two weeks, and it's becoming more difficult getting the stuff from China or Hong Kong. We're going to apply low melt solder on the back here. Again, it's a thick board. Right now, I'm going to use the help of hot air. And flux is your friend. We need more flux because without flux, solder is not going to flow properly. And we're going to do the same thing on the right. Apply flux. Do not be afraid to apply a lot of flux. And one other thing I want to talk about is international shipping. Some people feel that international shipping is expensive at $56 per shipment and it can go up more, up to $110, $120, it depends on the country and the weight of the package. Right now, if we ship one syringe of flux to the UK or to Australia, it's costing us about $57 for shipping, even if it's only one syringe that weighs about four ounces. We do not have control over shipping. We do not make money off shipping, and I mentioned this before, sometimes we lose money on shipping. If the shipment is costing us $60 and we charge the customer $56, we do not ask the customer for the four extra dollars. We just take it. Bummer, I just realized that we lost audio on a big portion of the video. What can you do? I just replaced the batteries on my transmitter and receiver on the microphone, and we should be good now. But basically what I did is we desoldered the holes, we cleaned the holes, and we desoldered the front pads. And I did mention that the front pads are weak. When we desolder them, we just tap over them. We do not scrub left and right. So now that we have flux on the front pins, the next step is to grab an HDMI connector. And that's the fun part. Because if you have not already purchased that box, it contains 10 different HDMI ports. You have five connectors each, except for one of them, which is the USB 3.0 connector for a PlayStation 5. But you have five PS5 HDMI connector, you have four PS5 USB 3.0 connector, you have five PS4 Pro Slim HDMI connector, you have five PS4 HDMI connector, connectors, you have Xbox, five Xbox Series X HDMI connectors, you have five Xbox One X HDMI connectors, five Xbox One S, and then you have five USB-C Nintendo Switch charging connectors, 
and you have Nintendo Switch OLED USB-C connectors, also five pieces. And you have one generic HDMI connector that I tend to use a lot. Uh, I use it on receivers, on TVs, and I have a lot of videos on YouTube where I worked on fixing an HDMI connector on a random device, whether it's a receiver or video device, any video device, they almost always use that same HDMI connector, and it's a very useful connector. I included that connector in the box. It looks something like this. You're not going to be able to really tell how it looks like, but that's a very popular connector. We have five pieces inside here as well. You have 49 connectors here. Some connectors are $6, some connectors are $5, $4, $3, but it adds up. Right now, we are looking for an Xbox Series X connector, and it's right there, right here. Open it up, and right there. So anytime I need any connector for any game console, I get it from here. A lot of you already purchased the box, but if you did not know about it, now you do. And some of you are asking about our 500 charging ports box. It's out of stock as well. We have a shipment coming in for the ports, maybe in two weeks. You can check on the let me know when the item is back in stock and we will notify you when we have it back. And what we have to do now is we need to apply solder onto those pads and we're gonna reflow that connector better than factory. That's what we're gonna do. Let's turn our tip and then we're just gonna swipe. And the pads are thinned. We have enough solder on the pads. And now we're going to place the HDMI connector like this. And we're going to apply hot air to reflow that connector down in place in a better than factory way. And you will see the end result after we're done. So I'm pressing down on the connector because we can tell that solder liquefied. We want every end of the connector to make a flat connection with the pad on the board from front to back. And we're done. That's it. Look at the way the pins look. We're not focused very well right now, but look at this. And tell me that's not better than factory. Well, you can tell me, but I'm not going to listen to you. Keep holding, just to make sure that solder hardened. And now we can let go. Let's check it out. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Now, one neat tool that you must have is this one here, the needle probe. You get them in pairs a straight one and a bent one and it's very handy because it's extremely fine and you can easily push on those pins and solid because no repair is done if we do not say solid 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 and every single pin there's no one pin that escaped every single pin is making a very solid connection Wow. Nice. We're done from the front. Now we're going to solder the back, the four legs. And like I said, the board is thick. So we have to make sure that solder goes all the way through the hole onto the back side. We do not just want to solder the legs from the surface. We want solder to go all the way in. And to do that, we need a lot of flux because flux helps with the flow of solder. And we need a lot of feet. A lot of people find it a challenge to make solder flow through the hole and all the way to the back of the board. But practice makes perfect. All right, and let's do this one. We're gonna go over them one more time so we can make everything nice and round.
And while doing this, we can apply flux on the spot. And finally, we're gonna do this one here. And also apply flux on the spot. Apply more solder. Amazing job. Why do you praise yourself? Why not? If you do a good job, you can praise yourself. But I mentioned this before that I do not like to say I did a great job. I say we did a great job and people ask, who's we? We is just said out of respect because I is an ugly word. Okay, and look at the joints. If you are able to fix your hair on those joints or fix your makeup for ladies, then you know that you did a good job. And I was looking at the stats yesterday on YouTube stats. Male watching the channel, 97.7 and females are the rest. I thought we had a lot more females on the channel, but it's only 2%, 2.3%. And my wife was happy. She said, good. And they tell you, women should be equal to men. If they are, then it should be 50-50. So if you wanna prove yourself equal, just watch the channel so you can increase the stats. And that's a challenge, prove it. I mean, of course, men are equal to women in every aspect of our human nature, but God created men with more power. You know, they're just born rough. Women are born soft. And the men, by definition, should be rough. I mean, like when you take a photo, you're satisfied from the first photo. You do not take 50 photos to choose one. That's what I mean. You do not care. That's how I look. And the looks in men is not everything. It's a plus, but it's not everything. The personality, the way you are with people, that's what matters. And if we flip the board, look at that. Look at how solder flew all the way to the front. Right here. And if we can see it right there. So one last checkup. Checking for solid pins. Solid, solid, solid. And we are all good. All right, so we are done. I'm gonna hand this over to Big Boss to reassemble and test, and I'll be back to finish the video, or maybe I'll finish the video on my cell phone. All right. Big Boss is almost ready. Of course, there's no reason why it would not work. Awesome, awesome. Thank you very much, Big Boss. Thank you. And Big Boss today did over 12 devices. Over 12 devices. One man. Awesome. We're done. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments, and we'll see you again in the next video.